I am Dr. Vasudev Gadegune presenting on trochanteric buttery split with IM nail in fixation of unstable trochanteric fracture. These are all unstable fracture requires to be fixed by the augmentation plate along with the intramodulary nail to address the lateral wall. We require to have some reduction tools like T handle, ball tip, pusher, large pointed reduction forceps, Steinman pin and Homan's retractor. This is the standard method under spinal anesthesia close reduction on a fracture table and you can uh, reduce the fracture. Before that we have to appreciate and visualize the proximal femur, appreciate the fracture pattern accordingly we have to achieve the reduction. And eccentric supine position is very important because we have to adduct, abduct, internally rotate and external rotation is required. Most of the fractures of unstable variety, they are reduced in external rotation rather than in the internal rotation. And this is the position of the patient on fracture table. We have to reduce the fracture, check in the C arm whether the fracture is reduced or not in AP and lateral X-ray. These are the C-arm pictures are most important and in this case you can see here there is a some virus uh, is uh, appreciable in the AP and in lateral view there is a posterior sac and anterior translation of the head neck fragment. This is one of the very good method, a Steenman pin reduction method intrafocally we have to put the Steenman pin at the fracture site and you try to manipulate the anterior and the lateral fragment so that we get a anteromedial proper reduction. After uh, reduction, you fix the fracture from the lateral side anteromedially and that Steenman pin should be away from the trajectory of nail insertion. We may use a one or two pins depending on the stability of the fracture pattern because we need to uh, adapt the fracture so that there should not be any displacement of a fracture uh, at the fracture site. This is the most important shape. It is also called as a Steenman pin fixation, anteromedial fixation and you can see appreciate lateral side how it has been restored the angle. 5 cm incision is given superiorly of the greater uh, trochanter and then you can with the finger we have to palpate the tip of the trochanter entry guide wire is passed and checked in the CR that is most important it should be in the center and medial to the tip of the trochanter. You can appreciate here the guide wire is at the tip of the trochanter but slightly laterally placed it is not desirable so I have changed the entry point and it is now it is in the medial to the trochanter and precisely you can say it is in the pyriformis fossa. After the guide wire placement meant in AP and lateral checking then we have to do a proximal sequential reaming. I do not use straight with 13 mm proximal reamer. I use first a 10 mm cannulated reamer so that it avoids the shattering of the proximal femur and greater trochanter and then subsequently I use a 13 mm uh, this uh, proximal reamer so that there is fragmentation of the trochanter is avoided. So this is you can see here how the guide wire is passed <coughs> and this is a 10 mm first a proximal uh, reamer and then you pass a 13 mm reamer uh, for proximal reaming. After having done this thing, we have to check again whether the guide wire translation has occurred on the medial or lateral side, this is most important. And the Steenman pin, which we have passed anteromedially, there should not be any displacement and we can check here how beautifully the reduction is there in anteromedial side and there is a uh, guide wire in the center of the femoral uh, this femoral neck as well as in the uh, shaft. After this we have to assess the canal of the femur in most osteoporotic bone. Most of the time the canal assessment, uh, this reaming of the uh, medullary canal of the shaft is not required. 
insertion of the nail is done here it is a 12 mm nail approximate diameter is 15.5 and we have to see the two aperture which they should be aimed at inferior calcare region insertion of the two guide wires uh, superior and inferior guide wires are passed and they are also checked in the ap and lateral view inferior guide wire should be near the inferior border of the or you can see near the calcar after drilling of the inferior screw then we have to check in ap and lateral x ray and incision for plate because after putting the screw you cannot put the plate and you can appreciate here a coronal split and through that coronal skip there are a passing of a guide wire that therefore the screw cannot give a stability to the fracture in the coronal split and therefore failures are most of the time and you can see appreciate here how there is a fragmentation of the greater trochanter so in such a situation it is always a failure of the nail though in x-ray it looks very good now after passing the this a this is how you can see you can see that the appreciate that the bare part of the uh, par proximal part of the nail now the plate is uh, placed on the through that uh, guide wires and uh, the through the jig the screws are passed so the stabilizing screw and inferior screw so that the plate is now snugly fitting with the greater trochanter so that it this plate through this uh, the, the screws through this plate not only fixes the head neck fragment but also buttresses the lateral wall now we have to fix the plate to the shaft plate to the shaft and uh, in this uh, actually it should be a machine technique it's a machine distal locking is done and then afterwards you can also do Uh, this is the jig is removed because it is very difficult to pass the screws uh, when the jig is there and then machine nail technique screws are passed mostly it is anteriorly oblique screw distally you can see here and uh, fixation of the plate and to the shaft uh, is essential so that it gives additional support to the nail in a fragmented trochanteric and coronal split the distal fixation and then we have to assess the stability whether it is inside or not and fixation of the plate to the trochanter one or two screws are passed you can also augment this plate with uh, stage scissors like uh, ethy bond or you can also use a 18 mm gauze uh, wire for some time fragment and you can see the stability of the screw check it and uh, closure of the wound this is again before you close the wound you must check it with the ap and lateral picture how beautifully nicely the lateral part of the the trochanter is but rest everything will heal around the nail and plate and this is the post operative x ray so you can use a two screw system or you can also use a one screw system and this is one of the paper trochanter but is placed combined with the proximal femoral nail for unstable intertrochanteric fracture dr sasikant ganjale from solapur he is promoting this uh, method i also a uh, most uh, advocate this method and majority of the surgeon all over the country now adopting to